All right, folks, truck is still here. <laughs> Anyways, I think uh, this round, well, at least they're going to start. I don't know where I'm going with this one yet, but I'm going to start on this hood. That's a big one. I want to try to get this thing at least welded. Maybe we can try to get everything working. Maybe that'll be the goal here. I'm going to work on this hood. we got to finish welding this up. we got to add some filler strips so this is finished up because the hood's got quite the... Uh, quite the crappy gaps up near the front here we have nothing so we're gonna have to somehow finish up the front of this hood and make a, an inner structure and then uh, well yeah then hopefully maybe we can actually try to work and see if we can get those hinges in there that would be like super nice yeah the hood's got some decent transitions I have no idea what I sectioned out of it um, but a lot <clears throat> Because that brace used to fit underneath it, and now there's a considerable amount of stuff missing. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, I don't know. I'm going to start with that. It's simple. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just clean this up a bit, and we're going to just start zapping. I'm going to set up our welder here. I think I have two, three in it. I don't remember now. I've got two, three, or three. Now we got the bigger wire. So we're going to downsize this thing. We're going to put some 2 3 in it and uh, go to town. Well, we got this part welded up. It's not bad. You can still see a few little pinholes and stuff there. Maybe you can't. I'm not sure. Anywho, um, 
I gotta do more of the same to the other side, but for now I think I'll just play with uh, uh, getting that rear edge built up. So we're just gonna paper pattern this. Uh, I don't mind this gap, so this is fine. So it's probably gonna be from about here to down. Even this is not terrible once we get this spaced out because it's tucked in a little bit there. So we're gonna make a little sliver, burn that in, and then we will quickly jump to the other side, do the whole same thing again. Try to burn through that super quick because I'd like to get these edges made and then probably run this through the planishing hammer to straighten this out it's not bad but it's a little peaky i wouldn't mind it to have a little like this is pretty straight i wouldn't mind to have this start curving nicer as we go out all right gonna find some scrap steel and we're gonna uh, start building some shapes see how the hood's made out of sheet metal i don't see this being much different this edge will be fine. Figure out how we're gap a rooney. So we finished this up. Well, you kind of seen it. I still want to planish that. We did get into this corner. We built it up. I was a little shy up here, so we just did the old used welding wire and build that up. It's not terrible. Still needs some work, but like you say, the hood's the hood needs a little bit of finessing, and I had a little more meat that I can shave off. That was the intention there. So, anyways, this side's done. I think this side's a little nicer. We're gonna come in here, give this a quick grind. We are going to do the 10-20 uh, minute weld-a-thon here. We're going to weld this up. So that should be roughly uh, 10 seconds for you guys. And then we're going to come in 
and do a little of the same action over into here. This one's not terrible. I almost think it might be easier with the welding wire, just instead of trying to finagle sheet metal, maybe just run two pieces of wire through there. So you can run the wire around to the shape that you want, and then I'll put a second one inside, and then we can kind of just blitz across it all. At least that's my thought. That can change, usually does. <laughs> all right, let's commence. Well, I stuck my brace in to give you some reference to how far I took, how much we suctioned out of this hood. Look at that, eh? That is uh, quite a bit. I think there was a spot weld or there was something there. Man, eh? <laughs> I don't even know. That's a lot. Anyways, we got the... The sides are welded. We're going to have to finesse them and work with them yet. i got to clean this up here, then we can kind of planish it. For right now, uh, what we're going to eventually do is I'm going to cut this. We're going to pull these out, but somewhere along this transition, I'm just going to add metal to the tip. I, uh, I think that's fine because we know this part is good, and then the inner hood still kind of latches, so we're just going to add filler metal up to that edge. Uh, yeah. We'll go somewhere there and then we'll figure out a sweet spot to try to graft these together. Like that seems to want to jive. So I imagine both sides will want to play. So maybe I'll go up to this edge, we'll tack them. That way we later we can come in here and kind of do a butt weld to both sides. But uh, this seems to lay right, so we're going to force this side to do the same. That should straighten out the peak of our hood, which we can deal with at some other point when we maybe we put that strip in. I don't know yet, but yeah, we're just doing more welding. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do more of the same. I'm going to grind this up a little bit, clean it so we can start zapping. And then we'll just grab some scraps of steel and we're just going to kind of blend it in with this thing.
Well, that front finished up pretty nice. This transition nice into the front there. Over here, this was nicer. This side went better. I got this welded. I got to clean this up a little more, so I got to flip it over. I got to weld this. This brow sits a little different than this side, but I mean, overall, it looks fine as far as gap goes. I mean, yeah, the gaps are okay. I don't concern myself too much about it as long as they're they're semi the same. Like it's fine. This thing's gonna be like a full custom, but it's like just driver quality is kind of how I go. I don't uh, uh, get really hung up on trying to make everything perfect, perfect, because then I'd never finish it and I wouldn't enjoy it. I'd rather they be like nice, but kind of kind of a beater, I guess. I don't know. Ah, eh, you'll see. The finished product will be like a ten footer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to take the hood off. I'm going to finish this up nice. And then I think we're going to go grab Carl's plenishing hammer and we're going to give it a nice little, a smooth, just plenish up the sides there nicely. And then if I can, I don't know if I can repurpose the hinges and stuff like that, like the, the hood mech, because everything's so goofy now. I might have to come up with a different plan, but... I might cut this out, tack it in there, just so the top part of the hood has some support. I'd love it if I could make the hinges work, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to hold my breath and get upset if it doesn't. As long as the front latch works, we can always come up with a pin system and just pull the hood off in my eyes. All right. Well, let's pull the hood off and do some more. A little more welding, and then we'll plenish this sucker up. For this, what we're going to use is uh, Carl's Plenishing Hammer, and because, well, that nice little red one you saw me have way back, <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore, but Carl was nice enough to bring me one of his hammers, so. So what I want to do is just come in, this part doesn't bother me because it'll just be nice to fill. This thing's a little on the, the peaky side, I just want to plenish this flat. And uh, to get rid, there's a little bit of a spike on it kind of thing. So I'm just hoping I can just plenish it a little bit flatter. That is the goal. The rest of the hood's not terrible. It's pretty good. Uh, never mind. There's a few little spots. But my focus right now is just to get these, just these edges done up a little nicer. Just flatten them a little. Anyways, we're going to use that. Put some air to it and kind of, we're going to give her. <laughs> I wish the stand was a lot taller, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, that's interesting. I just lost everything off the end of there. <laughs> well, that sucks. All right. Well then, let's get a new one of those. All right. New end? Oh, but the air is off now. <laughs> ah. Let's see. You know, it'd be easier if I turned this around.
Well, wow, that worked perfect. That just smoothed that out really, really nice. Pretty happy with that. It's a little, needs a little more work. You can see some, some, maybe you can. Yeah, you can kind of see some light going through some of these. So we got to give it some more weld. Hit it again with the planishing hammer. This thing works really, really good. I love it. The only thing I keep telling them, I keep bugging them, I'm telling you, you should make a little bit of a smaller hoop. I know I've always mentioned that, so I'm thinking while it's still on my mind, I think I should tell them right away. You're busy. Hey, Carl. What's have up, you ever right? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> so as you can guess, uh, the next couple videos probably coming up, we're going to be doing some uh, work with Carl here. We're going to be helping him out on his, uh, we're doing the ramp truck again yeah. some more. I'm not 100% sure what our plans are, but... We're, we're about to figure it out though. Yeah, we're just going to okay. give her until we get her. Yeah. I think uh, the uh, the goal is going to be, you're talking probably air ride in the front. Yeah, well I guess um, what has happened since last time um, is four link's been Redone, we've got a track bar on the four link. We've, uh, yeah, that's it. Like we, we mounted a compressor on, on, the, uh, on the motor as well. And then this time around, hoping to get the gas pedal done. Oh yeah, we have brakes and steering now, like that, that stuff's on. So it'll be um, gas pedal, then it's drivable, and then continue with a bunch of wiring and then hoping to get the air system done. I think the big thing would just be like finish air system. You know, if, if, if we can get the front suspension done, the wheels on, and the air system, then it's like, it's mostly there. And with Brent here, we can do, you know, three months of work in three days, so. <laughs> <laughs>
I might just take this one, just smack it with a hammer a few times, and then we can kind of even rest it over top of the other fender just to see if it has a more square look. If this doesn't work, I might have to hunt around, see if I have some Ford fenders. I think they were more square, but I don't like the line that the Fords had in there. I want to keep the, the fenders pretty clean, like the front fenders. So, anyways, let's see if this thing will fit over. It is so muddy. There's so much stuff going on here. <laughs> These do not fit over. Boy, hey, they almost seem like they have a similar profile. Not sure. I'm gonna go beat that thing straight first, and then we'll unbolt this and we'll clamp or somehow mount this fender and we'll have a peek see to see how it looks. Is definitely more different that's for sure it kind of has the same profile as that one but this is just more bubbly and somehow this has the same profile but it looks more square but I'm thinking a more more square fender would look right now I kind of get what people are saying maybe if you flip them but I think it just looks broken it looks like you stuck front fenders on the back backwards if I took a set of those and turned them around hmm not quite the look I'm looking for this one, I like, I don't know, kind of banged it out, not terrible. I think with the lips. Just because the more square it gets, I think the lips look better. I think that's why they look so messed up on the back fenders. I think there's too much roundness for the squareness that that was. Got the hunt around yet, find some different fenders yet. I mean, these are better. I think if I put these on the other way, maybe they would be better. But, ah. I'll put these ones on backwards and then we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> You can see why that has a really weird look to it. Doesn't look right. I mean, you short in the back. I do like the ideas with tilt in the back a bit. That's cool. Well, I kind of shoehorned the lips onto this fender. It definitely looks a lot better on here than it does on that fender. But if this was a little more square, I think it would be even better, but ah. We'll hunt around, see what I can find. I think that's a better compliment to uh, the original fenders. Anywho, folks, I think that is where we are gonna leave this one. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on around here. We have the, the framers are out. They actually get starting to get the strapping on the building. So we're hoping soon in the next few weeks, we're actually closed in that we can get like electrical and get our doors in, stuff like that. But until then, uh, we'll have a little bit of cab over action and I try to do some more work on this truck 
amongst about a bazillion other things around the yard and stuff getting ready for winter. <laughs> Anyways, folks, as always, I want to thank you all for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Later.